Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 by Blood Alone, using the DLC of course, in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Italian nation, usually Italy, but with this guy here, I don't know. This guy seems okay, but we gotta talk about Ethiopian war logistics. From the lack of progress in Ethiopia, it's becoming clear that we have underestimated how many supplies the modern army really need. We must make a dedicated effort to improve the roads and ports in our holdings in East Africa to allow the necessary supplies to reach from. And we're gonna try to beeline through that as fast as we can, but we can also talk about Italian highways or... Army primacy. In the, past, in the last and final instance, a war is won by putting soldiers on enemy soil and taking the things the enemy needs to wage war. While well, the Navy and Air Force are doubtlessly useful organizations, it's the army that will win the war. But I don't mind going this way, but I'll do this one some other time. We're going to go down with solid progress. And uh, we're going to convene the Grand Council. So we got to wrap this war up as fast as we can. We're going to go in fast and hard, because that's the only way you really should do things. Um, so we're just going to just send some divisions down there. No, not all of them. Okay, maybe all of them. Go ahead. Why not? Screw it. We'll send every single division we have down here to push, 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 and not have to worry about propaganda, hopefully not too many about war measures or political actions, and the Christmas Offensive. My troops have stalled in the war against Abyssinia. This has even been pushed back in certain places. This Christmas Offensive has Mussolini personally berating the, or privately berating the military high command for the incompetencies. The Duce wants results now. Is it for authorized any means necessary to repel the Abyssinians and to end the war swiftly? Whatever, take, uh, whatever it takes. More war escalation, 50%. Methodical and deliberate. Hmm. This is war escalation. Eh, more attack. I mean, I'm just not going to stop attacking, so. By any means necessary, which I've done before. So we got to conquer these guys, and we will conquer these guys. It won't be hopefully that difficult. But you never know. As we do have a couple planes here, uh, doing some. Doing some work. Is yes, that to hope so? Pretender seeks peace. Also. Um, I don't remember if I put this on historical or not. It probably is on historical. So, time to do the Sultanate of Aus. Uh, Muhammad Yayo, the Sultan of Sultanate of Aus, has for a long time been under strong Italian influence. Just like during the last war, he's remained neutral despite formerly being part of the Ethiopian Empire. In fact, the only reason that the Sultan sold his power is due to the Italian goodwill, of course. Uh, the country may have sold its coastline in Italy, but it's still an obstacle to our conquest. The capture of Tigray might be enough to convince the Sultan to surrender the rest of his land and pretend to seek peace. One of the uh, Ethiopian nobles, Heo Selassie Gugsa, who also has a claim to the throne, is approaching to high command in Ethiopia. The noble offers help against Selassie and return for the control of parts of the country after the war. He will, of course, swear fealty to Victoria Emmanuel III, ruling his place in, in his place in Ethiopia. Sort of civil war. Well, that'd be cool. But then again, I, I want to see. I, I kind of like having Ethiopia under us completely. Because we'll just pose him. Then we gotta figure out which way we go. Monarchy, Dino Grandi. Or we go with Italo Balbo. So, I would like to go over. Uh, there are several routes overall. Italian hegemony. Spread the wings. Not bad. And a greater purpose. Versus Divino Dulce. Gain the Black Church's loyalty, which is not bad. Because you can always do Mare Nordstrom later on. Auxiliaries, Italian legions, new Roman citizens. All roads lead to Rome, of course. King of the Skies, Modern Musculus, a Cataphract Mortis, I had a production of Caesar, Caligula's Pride, Iberian Protection, South American Alliance. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm going to say, um, we can't eat them all up. Uh, now, let's see, let's just, just blitz through these guys as fast as we possibly can. We've only lost, oh, he folds. Sultan of Aus has accepted our demands to let us use uh, the Afar Islands as a base of operations against Ethiopia. Speculate ends the independence of the Sultanate of Aus. Moving up. If you're worried about success in Eth North Ethiopia, please go right ahead. Yay! Up is off Ethiopia too soon as well. Nice. Very good. Over here, not so good. But we should be doing fine now. Um, 1.23. We're going to stay fascist, of course. But we need more political power. He falls ill. Oh, that's unacceptable. I want to sell it, of course. Fascist has completed the United Black Shirts, so I love the PP. Um, success and stuff. Ethiopia. Great. Solid progress. If you want to read that, please go ahead. But Servizio Informazioni Militare. Our military requires accurate information to plan its operations. For this need. we need a central organization that gathers and analyzes this information, as well as take offensive actions against the tar targets if necessary. What should we get to do next? Alright. This looks like it's relatively historical, so. I would let that on historical. Oh well. Triumph in Africa? The shame of Adwa has been wiped out. Some four years after the humiliation we've suffered at the hands of the Ethiopians, we have finally gotten our revenge. 
Our forces have proven their ability beyond any doubt, and all the world must now acknowledge your might. Yeah, I'll do that. We're going to some of this too. Uh, land doctrine. We're on grand battle plan. I kind of want to go with the superior firepower. This one. You know what? I think I'm going to do it anyways. Because we can. Uh, war escalation. Just keep pushing, 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 pushing. Take Addis Abba. Conquer Harag. I'm sure it's always wrong, but whatever. So we're going to please. Oh, well, maybe not. Um, 114 days, 14 days. Ban the naval treaties. Um, we can close out of that one for now, too. Second London Naval Treaty signed. Public, oh, it's down public concern. Oh. How little faith they have. Well, that sucks. What do we fail? That's just because of the couch tees? 11,000? That's quite a few. Yeah, I get it. Hey. What's up, y'all? Head on him. Nice. There we go. Drive in Africa would be nice. But... I recognize the Union Italian highways, air innovations. The war on the air has become one of the decisive fields of modern warfare. We can allow ourselves to fall behind in this crucial area. This machine tools. Dispersed industry is always good. At this point, just do this. I definitely don't want to send the tanks down here. Do this. I want you to hold. Do that. Um, do that. Get some planning done. We've lost 15,000. They have 15,000 left. We have 90 days to take Idis Abba. Supplies are not very good. But what a snoop. It's freaking Africa. Let's go in. See what we can do. We're definitely going to win up here, hopefully. Uh, Support weapons are nice. Air innovations are also very good. Expand Rome Flying School. With the growing complexity of modern planes comes an increased risk of accidents if pilots are insufficiently trained. We must ensure that our flying schools are keeping pace with technical advancements in terms of training quality, as well as keeping pace with the demand of new pilots caused by growing military. Uh, how about we get radio? That'd be nice. Well, with what? Infantry expert attack is not bad. We could use that in the war. Uh, the Duchy now wants a swift end to the war in Abyssinia, so that Italy can turn elsewhere for further glories. Conquering the ancient lands of Aksum would solidify Italy's place as one of the major empires of the world. Whatever Abyssinian strongholds that are left need to be dealt with, and all the Abyssinian lands need to be in Italian hands, of course. And we will be defeated. Oh! I don't think they have a navy, so. In government, puppet, liberate. Well. I like the way it looks now. The conquest of Ethiopia. Uh, Mussolini is ecstatic and brags far and wide to anyone willing to listen or otherwise about a recent victory. You never had any doubt that Italy would prevail on Trump in Abyssinia, Abyssinia, despite the various setbacks we encountered. We have finally avenged the failures of the first Italian Abyssinian War. The Duchess held the conquest as a victory for the fascist system and its government, calling Italian people stronger and more unified than ever before. Blood alone moves the wheels of history. And Portugal wants our ships. The Portuguese government, uh, where the lack of, of a proper navy has submitted a tender to purchase an Italian ship, should we accept to build the ships they desire, we'll, they'll provide us with goods we can use to our own purposes. Sure. So now, I was just waiting for us to win there. Hmm. Train. With this guy. Where are these guys going? They're fascist still, but the Axis doesn't exist, does it? Oh, no, it does. It doesn't say they're a part of a faction. Well, what if we took out France early? It would be kind of nice if we could. Little four is not bad, and improvisation expert would be pretty decent, too. Do we have any paratroopers? Passed by Ethiopia. The Duchy's public declared how the Abyssinians are crushed and on the run when they are well broken under their defeat. Privately, though, it curses the Abyssinians for their resilience and defiance towards Italian rule. The Duchy has given the order to crack down on local opposition with brute force and to institute laws to keep the population in check. He wants to tear our country past, fight and brought into the Italian foot fold as soon as possible. Well, brings peace and stability. Um, you 
Interesting. Well, what if we were to use some paratroopers for this campaign? Do we need some chromium? We could use some chromium. It's only 7% war score. There goes Spain, killing itself. Nice. And that's Turkey's guaranteed by Romania. Do these guys want to take out those guys? Yeah, it could be possible. How many divisions do they have? France. Can we go Greece early? Just navally invade and just kind of go through here and then. Of course, Yugoslavia is always fun to take out too, but still. Something a little different. When's the last time I actually took out Greece myself? It's been a while. That's been Ethiopia, which is fine. I'll put down a lot of resistance. Why not? But after that, of course, trap in Africa. And then do this one too. That'd be good. Do this before unaligned. Fine with us. Um, 60 foot of power only. Games of the 11th Olympiad. Nice. Put down as much resistance as possible because, my god, do we need to get rid of resistance or why not? Um, so let's do this. This one takes forever to do. 35 day focus would be nice though. Valera. The new Emperor of Ethiopia. Good. New Emperor. That'd be kind of nice. Daily compliance growth speed uh, denounces Hellenic ideas. You bet he does. Um, I kind of like this one because I do want to get that as fast as we can. More compliance. Because, my god, we are going to need it to help pacify the area. Ministry of Italian Africa developed these places. Colonial management as well. They're pretty decent to get. Um, industry. Oh, this one. Agip. Triumph in Africa. Italian highways. Ancient Romans built roads over the envy of the entire world. Now the upstart Germans believe that their autobahn is far superior than anything we could build. We'll prove them wrong. New Emperor of Ethiopia. The people of Ethiopia have lived under an emperor for centuries. It would undoubtedly make our task far simpler if we could just present them with a new emperor and replace their old one by creating our king as a new emperor. Nice. Yeah, a little more compliance would be very nice too. Over here, we're going to go with, I always go about it to support because I like it too much. Um. Putting down a lot of resistance, which is good. Stability is not bad either. Editor, huh? Uh, financial expert, a fascist demagogue. Um, we're building a lot of cities up early. Railway refineries, which we'll use the entire campaign too. Damage garrisons goes down, which is not bad. Uh, that's where we get this. It better be. But go consumer goods first. Because we just gotta build, build, build. That. Oh, as less than one percent of the Benito Mussolini side. So we're over here. We need to go over here. Um, Grand Council. Well, let's save just in case. And have a good time. There's the army, foreign affairs, damaged garrisons would be nice, but still. Criticize war effort. Well, they're not really in a. War right now. Ten. Slander the Duce. That's in cost. Nice. Can we get this done even sooner? Move by five. Five. Because right now we're at. 15, oh god, it's gonna take forever to get to. I'd rather spend the naval stuff since we just have a lot of ships anyway, so let's keep going with this. Go take the old Duce. Can you just compliance to establish Italian subjects in some Ethiopian states if so desire? Ethiopia is a far more diverse and splendid country than most believe. There are many groups that are not strong supporters of the old Ethiopian regime, giving them some small concessions would easily turn them to our side and begin far easier to pacify the region. Could be good. Probably get out of there and stop sucking up our guns. Uh, you guys should probably go over here too. What volunteers can we send? Three, eh? Well, let's send. Nice. One, 
200. It's not bad. Not a bad idea myself. Let's press support. Good, good, good. Yes, last Gugsa approaches Italian officials. Uh, the dude, Gugsa, an Abyssinian army commander as well as a member of the Imperial families, approaches us hoping making a deal. It's indeed a great movement for us and a humiliating one for the Abyssinians. While we can see this occasion exploited for our own benefit, we would be wise to remember that this man is a traitor in many Abyssinians' eyes. Supporting him would come with certain caveats. Granting some concessions uh, might satisfy the locals. The governor of the region. Get a puppet, eh? The crown adder. Must be subdued. Ends event chain. Huh. Oh, any comment back. Junior proposes that we sign a pact and address the terms goal of spreading communism worldwide through the use of subversion and violence. We sign this pact, we could adhere to uh, sheer intelligence of the communist threat and act in close cooperation against this menace. Sure, why not? Uh, well, what are, what's resistance like? 17 is going down already, so that's not bad. Local concessions? A little higher for even more compliance? Oh, yeah. Power. Political equilibrium. Oh, God. One more devout the Lira. Could be good. Liberate Gramsci. To father do, Jay. Abandoned war, which wouldn't really make sense for us to go. Preserve army traditions would be better and more like it. There are many ideas floating around these days about new ways to wage war. But some of these problems really have some merit. The foundation of many successful armies don't change since the days of Caesar. Discipline, individual courage, and capable leadership. But John Howe was there first. I don't know if you of course. Ministry of Italian Africa. The various tribes and peoples of Africa cannot be handled like we might deal with other subject people. Administering these areas will require a different approach. Industrialization program for Italy to truly flourish. The Duce has a plan to expand our production capabilities. It accomplishes the vision of a prospering nation where we need more factors to sustain the growth of a bustling empire. Expand the industries. Well, we'll see. I'm thinking, actually, you know what? Attack bombers? Where my, where's my cast? Do I have cast? Oh, God, don't, don't tell me we don't have cast. Ah. Mm, go there. And there. Italian highways. Giavo Shofir approaches Italian officials. During the conquest of Abbas Ab 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 Abba, we freed the former king of Jima. Uh, Abba Shofir, who collaborated with us before the outbreak of the war, he now has come to us seeking important some support to restore some of his former powers. Might prove beneficial to us, he sold some influence, but since he was found out to conspire with many view women as traitors as well. Sessions? Why not? Well, we researched him. We should probably use him, right? I want this one, though. We're doing too well. Um, railway innovation. So we can get down here and get that research slot. 
Even though the age of automobiles, strong railway network is still the backbone of a strong economy. Further expansion of the railways in Italy set us up for future growth. Digitalization program 131. Well, we're still building up cities, as you can see here, too, which is very good. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. We're going to some serious air XP, okay. I just like grabbed all these guys and just shoved them here to just train and whatnot, so. Should start getting us slightly more, even though I guess we should probably get this guy instead. Oh, but it's available. Ooh. I have to wait that many days for Italo Balbo. And. So, training for now because we need the fuel somewhere else. Any good upgrades? Nothing I really care about. Here it does take quite a bit of fuel. Yeah, uh, hello, uh, tell okay, hey, I'm on that approach to the town officials. I depose Abyssinia. Nobleman, how you tackle Hamanot has contacted us claiming we can benefit each other. His offer is for services and in return for a position in the government in Abyssinia. Being a former ruler, this might serve as a purpose, but being just that, a former ruler, will have ramifications for the local population too, who perhaps will oppose his rule. That's fine. Um, I've been focusing on trying to help them out. I forgot about this too. Well, I didn't really forget, but, you know, whatever. What's it? Are they guaranteed by anybody? No. They are democratic, but no one gives a crap. About Greece. We need two divisions each one. Two. Argos. Um, Twelve. Amphibious. Actually, that's not bad. Atras. Uh, you two go from here. Not there. There. From here. There. There we go. Now, look at that. Zero percent. Barely got us over there, so we can do this. Focus next. Convene the Grand Council. We must convene the Grand Council of Fascism to discuss what to do about Mussolini. As latest foreign Ethiopian unwillingness to share power responsibility has left many questioning his capabilities as a leader. He has served his country well in his very face of fascism, but it might be time for new leadership. Huh. You know the opposition to Father Duce will be locked. Interesting. Sorry, Brosif, but you've had it too good for too long. Alright, so are you guys good to go? Oh, yeah. Nice. We need a lot of fuel for this one. It's fine. It's fine. It's really fine. But before we do that, let's save real quick and then invade. We good? Yes, we are. Uh, agree, socialism, eh? Simulate four simultaneous naval invasions for four different landing zones. Well, yay, I feel so accomplished now. End of the League of Nations, so be it. You're going to have to force the attack. You are going to have to win. Very good. 
Very good. Railway innovations, yes please. Oh, we have to be peace. Oh, shnikes. Well, we can still do this one too. We're not bears, so. Every great power needs to set four clear and policy goals, as well as having talented people trained to conduct diplomacy to achieve these goals. Sayo Mengesha approaches Italian officials in our stunning victory over the Ethiopians, or Abyssinians, really. We managed to capture one of the leading army commanders and a member of the imperial family, Sayo Mengesha. We're told that the Abyssinian Empire, Heo Selassie, holds his man in very high regard. We can use his prisoner to further humiliate the emperor and maybe secure the loyalty of the people. He will, of course, hold no real power, but do as he's told. More compliance. How much compliance have we had down there now? That's not bad. We need more, though. Oh, nice. It took too long to take these, take these guys out, but you know, you never know. I'm gonna force it. Actually, I want you guys to do this too. Get ready to do that, because you're just gonna spread out that way. Once Athens falls, you know. There we go, that's the iron showing up. Trying to kill our subs. We've got like no fuel, but what else is new? Uh, war measures, no propaganda effort now. Let's keep taking territory. Nice. Foreign affairs. Oh! Second Russian Civil War. Very good. Hamburg incident. Very good, very good, very good. Down ambitions. I'll send an ultimatum to them. Pressure them. Well, we might do that too, but we'll see. In the meantime, devour the Lyra, or we keep doing this. Investments in Edison. Italy boasts the very first power plant in Europe and has always been on the forefront of technology. With an investment in the Edison company, we can ensure that we remain in the lead. It's down to the Soviet bloc, eh? So the rest of these guys can just come over here too. Artillery, 1937, get some more output, please. Air detection is nice, 37. Cap and whatnot. Salonika. Uh, Croatia, no, they're not really ready yet, I'd say. How much more do we need, my god. Level 4 though, that's pretty good. It's pretty darn decent, not gonna lie. There we go. Take the Navy. Nice. And we took the Navy. Look at this. Not superb, but you know what? It's better than not having them. Even though, like, well, depending on who you ask. Beautiful. Now our 25% world, world tension. Got a good amount of political power. Uh, should never have an issue with chromium ever again. Oh, they even had some rubber, some tungsten, some aluminum. More tungsten. Or, I guess chromium, not my bad. What's not to love? Visual integration, passed by Ethiopia. All states have a greater compliance than. Uh, the six percent, which is going to take some time to get to, but we're still again there. I think the plan goes down. We have our occupation laws. Anything interesting now? Trio's doing okay. There we go. Hmm. Taking out France is always a little bit of a challenge, but you know what? Whatever. Mystery in Italian Ethiopia? Well, I definitely want to do that one. What else? And of course, we can do this one too. Can be in the Grand Council, which would be kind of fun to do. 
So the country wants very fast fascism, but might be tempted to leadership to oppose him. The town is going to oust Mussolini from power. He has proven himself to be an incompetent leader that has dragged her beloved Italy through many unnecessary hardships and tests its resilience while past its breaking point. While the shadow might loom large over us for some time to come, Italy and its people will, of course, prevail. Which would be nice to have, too. So I want to invade France. I really do. There's so much world tension right now. So, can we train paratroopers? Could we, in theory, produce enough transport planes? To transport enough soldiers over and carry us through to invade Paris and all them that area. I just want a paradrop if possible, so we can make that a reality though. But unfortunately, I believe I have to end the episode here. If you enjoyed the video, don't leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what we'll do with the rest of Italy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.